Hi friends, Ryan Rose with you. We are talking 49ers track and field. We're going to preview the 2012 indoor and outdoor season. Of course, we've got head coach Bob Olson here with us. Coach, welcome back to the set. Thank you. A couple of your seniors. We've got Amanda Getches, who uh, could pretty much host this show. You've done several cross-country segments and track segments through the years. Welcome back. Thank you. The old lady on the set here. And then Sam Jordan, who is the uh, fastest man on campus um, for the 49ers, also a senior. So uh, last go rounds for you guys uh, this year, and let's just jump right into it, Coach. Um, last year we got the chance to see another great uh, outdoor championships on our campus. Um, I, I, I can't tell you how much fun those are when 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 we're able to host that. Thing. It's just it's a festival of colors and fun and frivolity. Um, talk about what goes into that kind of uh, undertaking as as we try to continue to host those things. And I know we do want to talk about. Uh, hosting cross country as well, but but hosting the outdoor, what kind of? It's great to be home, but it's also a little bit of a headache to get everything ready and get it going. It is. It's it's a little tough. Uh, any track meet when you have uh, 14 teams coming together at one time for a two-day event uh, and all the the infrastructure involved leading up to it. But uh, fortunately, you know, for for a championship for the conference, we get a lot of help from the uh, from the conference and a lot of help from our administration here at Charlotte. And so, the conference championship actually is is. Uh, it goes a little bit smoother. I think everybody around wants to make sure that uh, myself and uh, my staff have time to actually coach instead right. of uh, administering an event. And so we get great help uh, locally and from our officials. And so uh, it, we get the job done. It's uh, it's sort of like the culmination of a, a year's worth of work. But you guys, are, it's not it's not kind of a new thing for you because you, you do host typically two meets a year. You'll have two more this year, uh, third week of March, third weekend of April. So talk about what goes into getting those ready to go, and I know the athletes appreciate being able to sleep in their own beds and then come compete on campus. Sure. Yeah, those are a little bit tougher for us, especially the, the 49 er Classic in March uh, is major, major open competition for this region of the country. We attract 30 to 40 universities, um, easily 1,200 to 1,400 uh, athletes competing over three wow. days. Um, and, of course, that time of the year, uh, as a department, we're a little busier. We've got a lot of other sports going on, mm -hmm. and so um, you know we get we get some help. But as a coaching staff, we've got to uh, to uh, put a lot of legwork in the weeks prior. Fortunately, uh, spring break is is not too far before that. We get a chance to work on it. Uh, the meet in April um, has really developed the last couple of years into a smaller affair, four or five teams, mm -hmm. um, and typically teams that are using that as a last. Uh, track meet to tune up for their conference championship, and okay. so it's made for a pretty uh, small meet, but a, but an exciting meet because everybody's uh, really on their best game, trying to put their best times out there before they go to their championship. Now, when th these two have both been to national championships um, for track, cross country, and both uh, in Amanda's case, this time of year, as we start into 2012, you guys are just really ramping into the indoor season, and I'm kind of skipping ahead to the outdoor season. When you're working on times, I guess Amanda, we'll start with you. You're you're the distance runner here. When you're working on times, and I know we've talked about this with Coach Schlichter, um, <coughs> the build up. How what's that process like? Building up to your fastest times. I know they talk about adding on distance and things like that. What is that process like for you? And where are you at in that process right now as we sit here before the outdoor season starts? Uh, I guess well, I guess we're taking a different approach this year because I don't have indoor eligibility. I just have outdoor. Right. So I'm a little bit farther back than where most of the girls are at right now, but I'm definitely catching up now. It's just lower mileage right now, just starting to get into workouts and then just slowly increase everything, do instead of just one workout a week, get in two, and then just keep adding in some more miles. And you are looking at uh, well, an All-American here. This is one of our All-Americans. You've competed at the highest level. And, I, and I'm just curious, uh, as you build that, as those times up, how do you, when do you know you've, you've peaked or how do you keep from peaking too early? What is that process like for a distance runner? Uh, I guess just taking your easy days easy, work hard on your hard days. Ed's pretty good about knowing when I need to go hard, when I should go easy, okay. if I need some time off, take a day off if I really have to. All right, Ed being Ed Schlichter, yeah. who's our, our distance specialist here, one of our distance specialists. Now, this guy down here, he doesn't mm -hmm. run the mile. I mean, mm -hmm. this guy is a 55-meter indoor, 100-meter outdoor, maybe some 200. Let's talk about times for you. When you're talking about shaving time, when, when Amanda talks about shaving time, she's talking about seconds. 
-hmm. You're talking about tenths and hundredths right. of a second. Right. How do you get to where you're shaving off that? What is what is a half second to a hundred meter dash? Well, <clears throat> I mean, every every tenth of a second counts. So I mean, mm -hmm. you, ever, you really have to be on your um, A game. So um, as far as the season goes, um, we had two meets already. So um, it's really kind of like uh, coach. I had talk, I had talked to coach for like. Uh, few days ago and um he was like um Sam how do you think you feel in your race and I told him I said um I don't feel strong enough okay. so um with that being said um with the first two meets it was a little shaky so shaving off like 0. 0.2 seconds would be where is where I need to be so right. um but as far as Amanda goes she uh seconds like with her seconds and me is hundreds of a second but um as far as the season goes man I just think that um <clears throat> I just need to keep working hard for mm -hmm. one and two, um, I just need to keep staying humble and um, keep doing what I'm doing. So we'll see how the season goes. The times, how it's got to be frustrating, but at the same time rewarding to see those three seconds, two seconds, four hundredths of a second get shaved off from these athletes as they build and build and build towards their goals. Yeah, I mean, every event is different. You know, in the field events, it's centimeters. Mm -hmm. um, for a high jumper, it's a centimeter can make a huge difference. For a thrower, you know, maybe it's, 30 centimeters, but uh, yeah, every event has its peculiarity and, and, and the closest. Now, sometimes we find ourselves on the other side of that. We made it by a centimeter. Right, we right. made it by a tenth of a second, but um, that's why game day execution is just so critical. You have to be prepared and do the training leading into it to know, you know where you need to be and be on your, on your best when we're in a championship uh, environment. Sometimes it's not necessarily the speed. It's your start. Right off the blocks it's you know a stride here or there now yeah. I, I was talking about margins we were short on but let's talk about some things that were hit this guy has won the 55 meter dash 2009 2010 2011 conference champ how about that <laughs> and we got we've got a lot of athletes that can say they're multiple conference champions this young lady here 5k 10k conference record holders in that event and jake deaton i don't want to leave out the field event guys because jake deaton who's a monster from up in Morrisville. Um, he has he has really come on strong. You're pretty strong in just about every area, whether it be relays, distance uh, relay medleys, or or guys like Jake Deaton, and you've got some other youngsters that are high jumping and long jumping. And you've got a pretty stout team. How do you keep up with all those different areas? Uh, it's tough. Unfortunately, we have a, a great staff. Uh, we have 115 athletes and Whew. and uh, six paid staff members and, and a really valuable volunteer this year. And it's really helping us to. Uh, you know, stagger our training day to day to day and get a lot of uh, attention to individual athletes and not have just a big group uh, where we're not able to really focus in on improving individuals. And so um, it's really helped us uh, keep our balanced team approach that we've had as long as I've been here uh, going strong this year. And uh, it helps on weekends when you're sending people to three different cities to compete, <laughs> 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 which is the case here early in January. We're going to miss not seeing you guys late in the season, but there are two opportunities if you want to come catch our track and field teams in competition. We mentioned the third weekend of March and the third weekend of April. There are home meets at those two times, but you can follow these young ladies and men all season long on our website, www.charlotte49ers.com. I know you guys got to run. Haha, <laughs> funny. <laughs> but uh, thanks, for, thanks for a little bit of time. Good luck competing in the indoors. I know that's coming up here in a few weeks. And, of course, we'll all get a chance to watch you guys when the two outdoor meets happen. We wish you the best of luck and good health. Sure. Thanks thanks Thank for the you. time today. Thank you. That's our uh, track and field preview. Head coach Bob Olson and two of our stout seniors. We've got Amanda Getchis and Sam Jordan. Good luck to those uh, ladies and gentlemen this year. And don't forget, you can catch them out at the uh, uh, Irwin Belk track and field uh, complex this season. you got two chances to do it, so we'll see you out there. Go Niners. Stay with us. We'll be right back.